just going to be a short video on how you can use Google Classroom to facilitate peer assessment. Every time that you create an assignment within Google Classroom, when students turn in their work, the work is automatically put into a folder within your Google Drive. If you highlight all of the files and then change the sharing permissions to anyone within your particular domain can actually comment on the file like so, that will greatly help. That is step number one because what this will ultimately do is allow when it's shared students to comment on each other's work without actually changing the content. Step number two is to create a new Google Sheet. You can do this by accessing sheets.google.com and then selecting the blank template. The key part to this is to use one of Google Sheets many add-ons and the one that we're going to use now is something called Doctopus which you haven't used before you need to go to add-ons and then get add-ons. I have got it before so it appears in my add-on bar. Once it's been run I need to decide to ingest a Google Classroom assignment as step number one. This will then give me the option to choose any of my classes I'm going to go ahead and choose GCSE Economics and then after this, once the class has been chosen, you get to choose the specific assignment. So the one that I'm going to be looking for is the one that's called Economic Growth. Once Doxpus has worked its magic, you are given a three-column table with first name, last name and links to the students' work. Before I share this spreadsheet with the students, I like to highlight and then hide the names in columns A and B. I use column D to assign a random order of student first names and then what I do via Google Classroom later in the next step is ask them to mark the piece of work that is in the same row. So for example here Frankie would be marking the piece of work in C2. Now to protect the spreadsheet and just to make sure that no accidental edits can be made you can just go to Tools and then Protect Sheet. Once this spreadsheet has been set up, you can go back to your Google Classroom page and set up an assignment in the way that you normally would. Once I put all the instructions in, I can search for the name of the spreadsheet, in this case Econ Growth Test, add that. Keeping it as students can view the file, there's no reason for them to be able to edit or for them to have their own version. And then the next thing I do is to find the mark paper. I know the code for this, so I can type the code in and it's going to give me the mark scheme for the particular year which I can then add to the assignment and then that's all done now so I can assign it and share it with the students ready for them to review each other's work. That was using Google Classroom for peer assessment. I really hope it's been of some use. Thank you.